Yeah. I'm not proud seeing how long I was in the UK. I should have come earlier. The sense of belonging alone, knowing that you are home is that alone for me qualifies everyone to come home. You must stop and think. What do I want? Where would I like to see myself? To be honest, if you don't have that, then you just follow the flow. When we landed at Kotoka International Airport, all we had was 200 pounds. Moving to Ghana or Africa is a gamble many will wish to take. But I have a strong feeling for most of us, it will be a gamble we wish we took earlier. In this video, a wonderful gentleman who moved to Ghana from UK to build a hotel shares his experience of Ghana. And guess what? He wished he moved earlier. You can have the biggest, the nicest, the plushest house. If you don't have a job, you are not ready. If you ever think the light goes off, the road is no good. Ghana is not for you. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, Efremi Kofiapia. I'm the director of Asantua Premier Hotel. Yeah. Now you didn't come on. We say now we are UK. Time pass. Your time be now we call UK. And how long now to now UK? I'm not proud saying how long I was in UK. I feel say I should have come earlier. Okay. Um, that is, that's the reason why I always say, say I don't feel proud to say that mm. I was in the UK for, from 1995 to 2016. Oh, okay. I should have come earlier to um, give back to the country. To give back yeah. to the country. So you must have seen something. What did you see on your return that makes you think that you should have gathered there confidence to come earlier? Okay. Um, first of all, before semi 2016, finally with the family, you know, I come every year, maybe twice, twice in a year. And it's so appalling that you have to go and plead with your boss to give you a two weeks or three weeks. I think it's one of the things that strike me. Mm. So, you know, you, you must have a certain standard. How long will you be going to your boss? I want two weeks, I want one week to come to Ghana. So I'm um, putting all that together. No? And from what I'm doing in Ghana, I uh, first say, uh, no, um, this can go on. You must have a cut of time. So 2016, me and my wife, we just put our, our resignation to work. Work of over 15. I was in my previous job for nearly 20 years. Okay. Doing and she what? too, Sorry. I was with um, Transport for London. Okay. Yes. And she, too, she was in um, um, NHS. Oh, wow. Yes. So, um, we decided to, we want to come home and then handle our own business. So we came 2016. So you said you decided. Had that, was that always the plan? Or there was something particular that hit you, that made you decide to come home? Because during the time, in the 90s, staying abroad and living abroad was a thing, isn't it? It was good. Everybody wanted it. Why did you have that um, thought? Was it always the plan? It's always the plan. I mean, you can't live your life without goals. You can't live your life without plan. So it was planned that at this time, this year, this age, we're coming home. Mm. Yes, and we, we did. So how has it been like since you've been back? It's been very good. It's been very, very good. And it's been the sense of belonging. You know, okay. There are certain things you can't put measurement on it. You know, the sense of belonging alone, knowing that you are home is that alone mm -hmm. for me, it qualifies everyone to come home. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's been a successful move for you. Are there some plans that you put in place? If someone 
who wants to move to Ghana or someone who is picking their bag right now, going abroad, I, how are you going to tell them to plan so that they can come and have a soft landing? Or softish. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody had like soft, soft, soft. Mm -hmm. But how do you do that? Okay, I, I will... I think I will say from my experience, mm -hmm. before I left the country, just like any Ghanaian, I'm going, I won't come back. I'm going and, you know, or I'm going for two years and before, you know, three years, before, you know, five years. But you must stop and think, what do I want the next five years, ten years? Where would I like to see myself? To be honest, if you don't have that, then you just follow the, the flow. Yes, the first one, two, three years, like anybody. Yeah, I'm in the UK, I'm in the... Um, Cheap food. Yeah, yeah, travel around. I mean, it's beautiful. It's it's very good experience. I enjoy it. The first five years, I never, I never thought I would come home. Mm. I never. And I believe it's with everyone. Mm. But as you grow, as you have children, you begin to think, what, are, what do I want to achieve? Do I want to live here for the rest of my life? Mm. Or do I want to, you know, make a move after certain years? And for me, after experience, the beauty of Europe, you know, acquiring both soft skills and, you know, life experience, we set a goal that, that age, I don't want to mention it, mm. that as soon as we hit that age, we coming home. So it was systematically planned that we are coming and we begin to put things in place. And so what are some of the things people should put in place? Have a place to put your head. That is important because you want a peace, peace of mind. And to have that peace of mind, you must have a place you call home. There's a difference between I have a house and I have a home. A home is where you have that kind of peace to think, reflect. So um, even if it's two bedroom, it doesn't have to be anything, you know, posh. Two bedroom, the basic. And then um, the next thing is to have a job. Mm. You can have the biggest, the nicest, the plushest house. If you don't have a job, you are not ready. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, when I say job, it's a currency, something mm. that brings in money every day. When I say job, don't come to Ghana to say that I have a business. For example, I bought five cars. Mm. I'm, I'm selling cars at a kind. I'm selling. No, it's not that sort of business. A business that brings in income every day if no weeks, every day, see money. When we landed at Kotoka International Airport, all we had was 200 pounds. Yeah, we slept in the hotel, 100 pounds. It was left at 100, that's what we came down with. Mm. But we had the assurance that the business we are running, money comes in every day. So mm. two things, have a place to stay and have a business. Regular income. Yeah, mm. not investment business. Because if you say that I have two properties that I've rented out, that's not enough. Because they bring in the money here is yearly. You mm. pay rent for the year. That's not enough. Have something, even if it's 100 Ghana, 200 Ghana. Daily a, or weekly. Or weekly. That is what you need. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll come into running business in Ghana and your business, mm -hmm. but there's one thing. I watch a lot of videos of young people fresh abroad, and they are saying that I'm not going back to Ghana. <laughs> it's better here, the roads in Ghana. People saying I hire a foam no, and everything. Living in hell. Living no, in hell no, and no, that. No, 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 no. I want to, to please paint a picture as someone who is older than me. Mm. And mostly older than those people who make those videos and someone who's lived there for so long. What changes in your life as an old person abroad that will make you change your mind to come home? 
Okay. Like I want you to paint a picture. This one is like reflecting. Okay. You see, for me, like I said, I always reflect. When you get to a certain age, you need to sit down and think, is this me? Mm. Is this what the rest of my life is going to be? If it's yes, then you start making plans for it. How you want your life to be. Um, what motivates us to come home is, you see, the word is home, home, home. There's no place better than home. Yes, there will be occasionally a light to go off and all that. But that is not everything. Mm. That is not waking up, getting out from your house, feeling that you are home. You don't walk down the street thinking mm. that, oh, what if? No, 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 no. And so, you yearn for that as you grow. Yes. Okay. When you are young, Anything that sense good. of belonging, it takes you to where you are consciously or unconsciously it's what it is you are there you are young you may go with them you know a chick an eagle chick when you put them down they look the same mm. Mm. but it get to certain age the eagle will look in the sky and say nah i don't belong here, don't belong here. and they go by then you what have you done for yourself? For yourself, to be able to fly. When yeah. you are young, the opportunities are there. Make use of it. But think, where will I want to be? Mm. And for me, it has always been the backbone. Where do we want to be? Where do I want my children to, to, to be? Mm. And that's what we followed. Thinking about the kids, how, how old were they like, when you brought them in? So how old were your kids when? Twelve and fifteen. Twelve and fifteen. Yes. How did they adapt? A girl and a boy. Okay, the girl, the twelve, brilliant, because she was still, she hasn't got into the teens as yet, so she was okay. She picked up the language within a year which was one of our biggest achievements. Mm. Um, the boy, he has already stepped into the teenage. So he was a bit, oh, daddy, you think, um, I said, it's okay, you, let's go. Mm. Now, uh, he hasn't looked back since. Okay, education-wise, how did you okay. tackle the education? Education-wise, I, Personally, I'm an academic person, so okay. I did a lot of research. And again, what do you want for your children? Mm -hmm. It's not about going to the high-paid fee school. Okay. Don't, yes, don't follow. They say, don't follow the Joneses. Yeah, what yeah, do you yeah, want yeah. for your kids? If you were to start English and a high-class school, um, of course, I'm proud to say that over there, my children, they all went to a very good school. Mm. So, you are moving them. Why? Why are you moving your kids from there to Ghana? I want them to learn something different about themselves. Mm. Where they, they're from, where they belong. So when we came, we enrolled on um, KNUST Primary. Mm. It's a very good school. And that's where it started. Now, one is in um, St. Louis. Okay. And the boy has just finished senior high mm. and he's doing one year internship as a business manager in the hotel. Nice. And then, um, practical. Practical, yeah. practical. Practical. Yeah, handsome. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I will say mm. is that I will encourage you yeah. to come to Ghana. To come to Ghana. As a young man, whatever industry you are in, whatever you've acquired, um, do come. But it's a transition. I'm not saying go pack your things. No, mm -hmm. transition. Put certain things in place. And you, you, you find out that, oh, wow, really, money is not everything. <laughs> what do you want? Is it money? Or you really want to be a person mm. who enjoy the best things in life? Don't the, just exist. Then, then, yes, then um, home. I, um, mm. I'm not sure what country in Europe 
are having been to. Mm. But why do I choose here? I, I still feel, irrespective of what we used to do there, what we have, and all the traveling, it's never like home. Mm. A man said something. I spoke to someone last week in Accra, and he said something. He said, coming to Ghana, it's a dilemma between your flesh, mm -hmm. your desire, what the flesh is, and the peace for your soul. And he chooses the peace for his soul. Mm. So yeah. whatever it is, if the light goes off, as long as he's at peace, he's good. <laughs> is it something, is that, does that explain what you said? If you ever think the light goes off, the road is not good. Ghana is not for you. Mm. Because truly, I don't see that. I do not see that the light. And as a human being, you have to you have to be adopt. You must adopt. You see, it's one of the things that sometimes also fail Ghanaians when you go abroad. If you go to Europe, make sure that you know their culture, you know what they do, mm. and live with it. Mm. You you emerge into their community. Be and you'll the be, best that you be can. Be the best there. that you can. You'll be very, very successful. Enjoy your life there. Mm. Don't try to, mm, I want to be in Ghana, but at the same time, I want to be in UK. Mm. You, you are not doing justice to yourself. Mm. If you are there, get the best out of UK or Europe, wherever you are. Mm. Enjoy it. If you want to come home, it's the time to come home. Forget about the light will go off. Mm. Forget about the road is not as perfect mm. as it is in the UK. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you know how many times people come here to cry, you ask them why are they crying? They go, so I've lived in the US all my life as Afro, African American. I go into Trotro, Texas, go to town, and people start talking to me in tree, in African mm. or whatever. Why? You look the same. You look the same. Yeah. You can have a suit, a nice Oxford, a hard order. Mm. But yes, though, you walk into certain places and you still look down. Okay. Yes. Mm. You know that. <laughs> yes, the appreciation of where you've worked hard to be. Mm. I remember one time I was on a train from landing to um, Birmingham. The ticket inspector walking there, he goes, so I think you are in the wrong cabin. I, I didn't even know why. That is after I've come to Ghana. Because mm. when I went to buy a ticket to go to Birmingham, I just bought. Mm. And I think at that time it was about 60 pounds. Just mm. bought it. And he came and said, you are in the wrong cabin. I said, mm. why? He said, let me look at your ticket. When he looked at it, he goes, so sorry. Because he wasn't expecting, I don't know, I don't want to be. Mm, to be in, uh, in that you know, cabin. Yeah. Mm. 60 pounds. Yeah, it happens. So are you saying that? It happens. Uh, um, um, African man mm. cannot buy a ticket of 60 pounds from London to Birmingham. Birmingham. And in fact, at, even at a point, that, that is when I begin to look around. And I saw that a lot of people are not in the cabin that I am. Yeah. You know, so why? Mm. It, it, I felt. So, Asantua Hotel, how did it come about? Asantua Premier Hotel, how did that come about? Okay. Asantua, the name uh, was derived from my mom. My mom is called Asantua. Mm. And, um, I had a house and I decided, okay, I never study <laughs> tourism. I never went to tourist or hotel school or anything like that. We had a house and we decided, okay, what can we do when we go to Ghana mm. to bring money? Okay, let's convert it to a guest house. Okay. So it started as a six bedroom guest house. And then um, from there, we learn, we learn, and um, 
the rest is history. We have a bar and a restaurant. We have um, three types of room. That's um, standard, um, train room, mm. and a double. And we now add in um, apartment and um, studio. Is that studio. the one behind us? Yes. Oh, OK. Yes. Um, nice. We have shuttle service. And again, it's where you've learned abroad, you see. Mm. It's as Antua, we are not better than any hotel in Ghana. Mm. But it's the nitty gritty, the low, low things that when we go, we appreciate. That is not here. If you bring it here, you find out that you have put your foot one step ahead of others. And that's all it is. And that's, mm. that's what, what is making the difference. Nice. <laughs> that is all. You will go to our room to see some yeah. big TV or some... If you go to other hotels, you will see. But what makes us different? The top notch service. That's, that's the it. Service. Oh, that's good. That's it. That's good. I think a lot of people yeah. will appreciate that, yeah. that you are aware mm. of the service. Because a lot of people complain when they come to Ghana that the customer service. service. But you've been around, mm. you've traveled around, so you know what is expected yeah. of a hospitality uh, place. So that is a bonus. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, so if anybody wants to come to Asantua, you have a website. Um, like to come and visit, uh, I mean to come and stay. Um, how do they book? We, we, they? we are on all social again, again, businesses need to embrace technology. Mm. Uh, most Kumase businesses don't even have websites, websites. even 2024. Sure. You know, um, it's one of the things that I think it's a change when a change comes. So to come back to you, how do they find us? Instagram, Facebook, mm. OTP, all online. Yeah. We are and everywhere. I'll put, I'll put the link in the video description. So if you go to the video description now, you can get the link to yes. all there. Yes. And how you can book and everything. You type in Asantua Premier. Mm. Just type Asantua Premier. Everything Actually, that's there. how I got there. I went yeah. on your website okay. and then the direction uh -huh. straight away. I yeah. came here. All right. And we offer shuttle service, like shuttle I said. Service, if you are coming to the airport, all you have to do, I'm arriving this time, mm. we'll be there to meet you and pick you. If you are on a VIP or STC, um, you get offered from a sub bus station. And our drivers will be there to pick you up. Only a minute to drive from there. So do you have any final advice to any African in a diaspora who wants to come to the motherland. Final advice. Come home. Come with an open mind. Mm. Embrace what we have. This is Africa. It will never snow here. And it will never shine there as it shines here. Mm. So don't come and say there's a light off. Mm. Don't come and say the rules are this. Come with an open mind. Enjoy what nature has giving us that's that's all i can say that's and it's beautiful come home no it's, it's beautiful it's beautiful it's beautiful thank you very much for <laughs> thank you this. mickey thank you. i don't